Now, next thing you can do is this, pull out another 100 grand. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come and sit it in an offset account over here. Now, what we're gonna do with that $100,000 is we're only gonna use it for expenses associated with the investment property. So we're gonna draw down anytime we have interest rates, maintenance, property management, or insurance coming out. At the same time, we have to put the tenant's rent in there. That's what the ATO requires us to do. But I just want you to keep in mind, and I know that some people might get lost here. So we're taking out 100% of the expenses. Does the rent normally make up all of the expenses of an investment property? No, in fact, normally you need three parties to make up all the expenses. You need you, you need some tax deductions, and then you also need the tenant. In fact, the rent normally only makes up about 50% of the expenses. So you've got 100% of expenses coming out, but 50% of expenses going in, which means that over time, you're gonna use that offset account. Now at the same time, while you're using that offset account, every time you accumulate debt here, it's a very particular kind of debt. It's investment debt, why? Because it's all expenses associated with the investment property. Those other two parties, remember? You, which is what we call pay yourself first, and the ATO. They're normally the other two parties that make up the other 50% of the expenses. Now the ATO only requires us to put the rent in here. The money we're contributing and the money the ATO gives us back, we can put wherever we want.